Today we're talking about angles on the unit circle. So unit circle is something that you're going to uh, be talking about with trig for a long time because this is where we get all of our special trig angles, trig ratios from. Um, the unit circle. A unit circle is simply a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. We're going today, we're just going to note the angles on the unit circle that correspond to the special angles, and these are all of the 30, 45, 60 degree angles, plus the angles that lie on the axes. So let's write, let's make our, um, let's write all of the 45 degree angles, pi over 4 angles in radians on the unit circle. So I'm going to begin by doing the radians. Okay, so this is zero radians. I know that this is pi radians. And halfway between zero and pi is pi over two radians. And then halfway between pi and back to two pi, we have 1.5 pi or 3 pi over 2. Right? So those are our go-to's. That tells us where everything is at. Specifically 0 to pi. We're going to be focusing on 0 to pi. So a fourth of the way. A fourth of the way is pi over 4. 1 fourth pi. 3 fourths of the way is 3 fourths pi. Another way to think of that is, this is 0 pi over 4, 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4 reduces to pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4 reduces to pi. If I keep on going around, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4 reduces to 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4. And finally, 8 pi over 4. Okay? So those are the pi over 4 angles. They are, let me get a little, oh, I can do this with a highlighter. The pi over 4 angles that stay pi over 4, that don't reduce, they lie on a big X right through the, the unit circle. A big X. Oops. Big X the pi over fours, okay? All right, um, on the next page, we're going to do all of the pi over three angles. So again, I'm focusing on zero and pi, zero and pi. If I want the pi over three angles, I want a third of pi. Where is a third of pi? Well, if I split pi up into three sections, it's going to be here and here because those all this this would form thirds right each one is an equal third so this is one pi over three this is two pi over three pi would be three pi over three if I keep going around the next pi over three would be 4 pi over 3. And the next pi over 3 would be 5 pi over 3. And if I kept going around, I would be back here to 6 pi over 3, which is 2 pi. So those are the thirds. Those are the thirds. Okay? Next up, I know on your notes, it might not say this, but we're going to correct this. I'm going to do all of the 30 degree angles, the pi over sixes. Okay? So again, zero and pi. If we're cutting this into sixths, sixths, okay? A sixth is half of pi over three. So this is right here, pi over six. This would be two pi over six, three pi over six. 4 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 
The other ones would reduce. I'm not going to write the ones that reduce. This would be pi over, this would be 2 pi over 6, but it reduces to pi over 3. 3 pi over 6 reduces to pi over 2, etc. So I'm only going to do the ones that end with a pi over 6. This would be 7 pi over 6. I'm sorry, this would be, oh my goodness, this is 5 pi over 6. Okay, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 pi over 6. If I keep going, I'll be at 12 pi over 6, which reduces to 2 pi. Okay. I think of 11 pi over 6 as 1 pi over 6 shorter than 12 pi over 6. It's just 1 away. I think of 7 pi over 6 as 1 higher than pi. Okay. 5 pi over 6 is 1 less than the pi. So these are all of the pi over 6 angles. Uh, a wide x through there. Okay, let's put it all together on this next graph, on this next unit circle. Okay, 0, pi over 2, pi. 3 pi over 2 is down here. like that. Okay. Pi over 4. What pi over 4 is this? 3 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4. And this pi over 4 is 1 less than 8 pi over 4. 8 pi over 4 would be here. This is 7 pi over 4. Those are all the pi over 4's. Let's do the pi over 3's. So pi over 3, 0 pi over 3, 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, that's 1 pi over 3 less than 3 pi over 3. If I go 1 higher than 3 pi over 3, I'll be at 4 pi over 3. And then over here, it's 1 less than 6 pi over 3, so that is 5 pi over 3. This would be 6 pi over 3, which reduces to 2 pi. Okay, let's do all the pi over 6's. So pi over 6, pi over 6 is your smallest of everything. This is 6 pi over 6, we want one less than that, so 5 pi over 6. This one would be 1 more than 6 pi over 6, so 7 pi over 6. And over here, this is 1 less than 12 pi over 6, so this is 11 pi over 6. And that takes all of our care of all of our radian measures. Now let's go back and do the same thing using degrees. Okay, start over. I'm just going to use the same paper. We're going to do degrees. Okay, so uh, let's see, pi over 4 is 45 degrees, pi over 2 is 90 degrees, 3 pi over 4 is 45 plus 90, or 180 minus 45, either one. Either way, we get 135 degrees, pi is 180 degrees. If we add another 45 degrees to 180, we get 225 in the third quadrant. If we add another 45 degrees, we will get 315 degrees. I much prefer, prefer radians. And down here, and then go grab that one, that is 270 degrees. Okay. Let's go to the pi over 3's. These are the 60 degree angles. Okay. Got our 0 degrees. I guess I should write 0 degrees. 
Okay, this is 60 degrees. Add 60, 120 degrees. Add 60, 180 degrees. Add 60 more, 240 degrees. Add 60 more, 300 degrees. Add 60 more, 360 degrees. All the 60 degree angles. Now for the 30 degree angles. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees. 5 pi over 6 is 30 less than 180. This is 180, so 30 less than that would be 150. 30 more than 180 would be 210. 30 less than 360 degrees. 30 less than that would be 330 degrees. So let's put this all together. Okay, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60, 90. Okay, right here, 90 plus 30 is 120. Okay, right here. So this was 180 minus 45, that is 135 degrees. This was 180 minus 30, 180 minus 30 is 150. This is 180. If we add 30 to 180, we get 210. 180 plus 45, or we can add 15 to this. If we add 15 to that, we get 225. If we add another 15, we'll get to this one. Or you can take 180 and add 60. Either way, you get 240 degrees. Down here is 270. Whoops, 270. Okay. Add 30 to 270, and we get 300 degrees. Sorry about that noise. Okay, add another 15 to get to this 45 degree angle. That is 315. Add another 15 to get to this 30 degree angle, reference angle, and that will give us 330 which is also 360 minus 30. I much prefer radians. I'm going over the stuff with you in degrees, but honestly, we deal exclusively with radians. Radians are what you need, really, really need to know. Okay, that's it. Um, the year that I'm making this video, this is our this was our first day after after Thanksgiving break, so this was a nice kind of light day after Thanksgiving break. So, um, anyway, that's it. That's all I got.